Hello and welcome back to the channel. You probably know that besides my love for the Star Wars franchise and the Black Series action figures, I also have a lot of love for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And although I do have a lot of NECA's cartoon TMNT action figures in my collection, I remember that back in the day I wanted to get NECA's original Mirage Comics Turtles. But I never got them and so even today if you are looking for them and you are looking on the secondary market, you know that their prices are just insane. At the time of recording this video we don't know if NECA will re-release those first turtles, but we do know that they are continuing their TMNT comic line. And we saw a lot of goodies on this year's uh, San Diego Comic Con. We saw that they will be giving us the new versions of uh, Mirage Comics Turtles with those red bandanas. But for my collection I wanted to get that first version of Mirage Turtles. The way that they looked in few first issues of the comic. So I was looking online and I was watching a lot of YouTube reviews and if you are watching this video you are probably in the same position as I was. And so what I discovered isn't anything new. It's something that exists for years now and uh, there are a lot of YouTube reviews of this but I kind of wanted to make an update in 2022 and what I'm talking about are obviously NECA Mirage Turtles bootlegs. Now these are the guys that you can find online on eBay or AliExpress. They are bootlegs of the original NECA's Mirage Turtles, but from what I hear and from what I saw from all of the other reviewers, these are some pretty quality bootlegs. So while you will be paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the original NECA's Mirage Turtles, these four guys are around 40 to 50 bucks on AliExpress. And like I've said, I heard that these guys are almost identical to the original. I'm guessing that there are some differences in paint because these ones look kind of darker to me than the originals from what I saw from images. But nevertheless, for 50 bucks, I decided to get them because I kind of wanted to have representations of these turtles on my shelf from original 87 cartoon, from the 90s movies and from the original comics. So that was kind of my idea, you know. I'm not someone who will tell you that the existence of bootlegs is 100% a fantastic thing. But when you find yourself in this kind of situation where there is no way for you to get the original product, then if you can get a bootleg, especially if it's a quality one, I think that it's a good deal, you know. So. In this video I wanted just to open these guys up in front of the camera and uh, I wanted to show them to you guys. If you maybe for some reason don't know that these still exist on the market. And so we will see if anything is broken and if these guys are poseable and if the plastic is good. So. Ever since I was a kid, my favorite turtle was Leonardo for some reason. I know that for most of you guys, Raphael or Donatello are your favorite turtles, but for some reason the turtle with two swords was always kind of attractive to me. Although I know Raphael is the most aggressive one and Donatello is doing tech Michelangelo is all goofy, you know, but Leonardo, the leader, with those two swords was always the coolest to me. So, we will start with Leonardo. Here in front, you can see that it's a plastic box and we have a little piece of paper on which there is a print. So, here on the front, you can see 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo from the original comic, we have some drawings of the turtles. And when we flip this around, you can see that here we have images from the original Mirage comic where all of the turtles have the same color of their bandanas. As you already know in the original, all four turtles had the same red color of their bandana. And I know that you can get these four figures in a variation where all of them have their colored bandanas from the 87 cartoon. But, as I said, since I wanted them to be the same as in the original comic, I went with these red bandanas. And also here on the side of the packaging we see the promo shot of these figures. And even on that promo shot you can see that they are lighter green than what we have on these figures. That, that's not something that bothers me, because for 50 bucks I will gladly take these figures, especially if they are as good as people say. So, I will finally open these guys and get my own experience of the quality of these bootleg figures. Now, I'm calling them bootlegs, but a lot of people have an old school way of thinking about bootlegs. And I will be talking about bootlegs into more detail in my other video, but from what I've heard, I mean, obviously all of these action figures are made in China, right? And the rumors are that these NECA molds were stolen by the workers in that original factory and they continued to produce more of these figures from the original mold, but these guys are not officially licensed by NECA. Even though, when you look at the lower part of the packaging, all the information from the original packaging are still here. 2008 copyright. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a trademark of Mirage Studios, all rights reserved ninjaturtles.com. Product development, Randy Falk, sculpt and prototype for Horseman Studios, paint John Wardell and Jeffrey Trapp, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, photography, Nicole Falk, packaging, Brian Roll, and special thanks to Peter Laird, Steve Murphy, Gary Richardson and Jess Richardson. So all of it is still here on the packaging. That's enough about the packaging, let's open these guys up and see what we are dealing with. Just a little bit of slice and so the top comes off. Here is another turtle logo and I saw in some reviews that people say that when you open the packaging it stinks, but to me I don't feel that. It doesn't stink, it's like you know, the smell of plastic that was kept inside of the box. There is a tray in which this guy stands and you just pull the figure out like this. And there is a strap here on the back and so you don't have to cut anything. You just release this figure from this tray by removing the strap. Please don't break on me, please. I mean, I know that they are cheap, you know, but I really don't want to break them. All right, so here we go. Here is our Leonardo. Looks really good, right? Yeah, as I said, the colors are a little bit darker and I won't be pushing it too far with the joints straight out of the box because these... Uh, NECA figures and the plastic that they use are kind of uh, known for their breakage. You have to be careful when articulating the NECA figures, but the neck joint is really good. Gives you a lot of range because there is the articulation in the top of the neck and on the bottom as well. Articulation in the shoulders is a little bit tight. I will need to heat this figure up before posing it and of course I plan on making posing videos for all of these turtles because I love them and I want to have more 
Turtles videos on the channel. It was always funny to me how the original Turtles in the original drawings and in the original comic had that little tail that you can see here as well and they decided afterwards to remove that from the version that came later in the cartoon and all the other media. Articulation in the knees is maybe a bit loose, looser than the other joints on this body, but I don't think it's that it's a big deal. I think that still it will hold any kind of pose. And let's see for the feet, great range of motion. And I also heard that there is a little bit of the rocker joint and there is a little bit of rocker joint, but not much. So yeah, these were still the early days of NECA's TMNT figures, but I'm satisfied with this guy. Let's continue with everyone's favorite, Raphael. And obviously, if I didn't mention, all the four turtles here are the same sculpt, they have the same body. The main difference is in their heads, each of them has a different face expression and, of course, different weapon. Raphael's size are also firmly tied in the packaging, so that's good, because you don't want anything to break in transport. So in the packaging, he is posed like this, holding his size like this. And I have to say that the plastic used for the legs and the arms feels kind of gummy to me. I don't know, is that the same way on the original? Because, I mean, obviously I don't have the original to compare, but it feels kind of gummy. He stands fine, but it's just something to point out, you know? All the articulation points are working great. That's the most important thing. Next one, let's open up Donnie. So what's cool about Donatello is that his staff can be split in two parts so that it's easier that way to put his bow staff in his two arms. So here is Donatello. And lastly, let's open up Mikey. Now, I also forgot to say that none of these boxes came crashed. The packaging was well protected and so the boxes are in good condition as well. And here is Michelangelo. And it's great that his nunchucks have real metal chain. And so this is the thing that I said earlier. You can see that it's the same body, but their faces are different. They have different expressions. Here are Raffaello and Donatello. And so, yeah, I'm really satisfied with these guys. As I said, there is no way for me today to get the original versions of these figures. So I went with bootlegs and from what I can tell from my first impressions, they feel great to me. They look great. The articulation is good enough for the time when these were produced. I mean, any limitations to the articulation here is not the fault of this being a bootleg. It's just the way that these figures were designed back in the day, in 2008, as it says on the packaging. And so, I expect to have a lot of fun posing these guys for the video. And would I recommend these to anyone out there who wants to get the Mirage comic turtles from the first few issues of how they looked in those comics? Yeah, I would. I would recommend if you are not able to get the original, and let's be honest, I don't think that you are today, 
unless NECA decides to re-release these guys. For me, I feel like this would be the way to go. And so, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I wanted to show you these guys. I wanted to make this kind of updated video for these guys in 2022. And I wanted to let you know that these guys are still out there on the secondary market. You can still get them. And that's, you know, if you don't mind them being bootleg, not, not being the official product, you know. But they look great. The only difference between these four turtles, I'm talking about these four bootlegs, the only difference in the paint that I can see is on the chest plate of Donatello. Because, as you can see, his uh, chest paint is kind of more vibrant than on, than on the rest of the turtles. So that's the kind of thing that separates this guy from his three brothers. But yeah, I love them. I love the way that they look. I'm satisfied with this purchase. As I said, it's only around 40 or 50 dollars shipped from AliExpress. I can leave a link down in the description of this video if you are interested to check these guys out. And if you do, let me know. If you are someone who already purchased these guys, let me know down in the comments. What are your thoughts about these? Did you have any issues with these bootlegs? Did you had any breakages with uh, these figures? You know, any information that would help someone who is planning maybe to get this uh, bootleg set. So yeah, stay tuned for posing videos of these guys and uh, I'll see you in the next video.